Hi, I'm Caroline Milley, artist, and welcome to Keep Calm and Bake. Now, this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a Simnel cake. This cake basically is a fruit cake covered in some lovely marzipan. I am such a marzipan fan. I really love it. I think it's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or hate it. If you don't like marzipan, this possibly isn't the cake for you. But um, I'm going to show you how to make it. It's very easy. First of all, get your butter going in to my mixer. Now I've got my soft brown sugar. That's going in first. We're going to beat these together until they're light and fluffy. So I've got the zest of one lemon and an orange zest. But um, don't worry if you're scribbling down ingredients, we have the recipe written for you in the description box. Yes. It'll be very nice. Cream these until they're nice and fluffy, a little bit longer. Great, that is nice and fluffy. I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Okay get all that mixing around properly. Now we're going to add the eggs. So add them one at a time and beat them. Beat it until it's all mixed together. So let's pop it one in. So just one at a time. I'm going to put the next one in. Lovely. Next one. So there we go, eggs, butter, sugar, zest, all in there. We can start adding a few more ingredients now. One teaspoon of mixed spice. This adds a really nice flavor. I do like mixed spice. Now a pinch of salt. This kind of brings all those flavors out. Little pinch. That goes in now. We'll mix those together. There we go. And now we can start to add our flour. So flour, just pour it in slowly. There we go. Now I, I'm going to save a little bit of the flour, about a tablespoon's worth. I'm going to keep it in that bowl because I'm going to add some marzipan to this. Okay, once the cake's finished mixing. Great, so the cake batter is lovely and smooth. Everything mixed together. Perfect. This really is quite an easy cake recipe once you mix everything together. Next bit, we're going to cut half of your block of marzipan, cut it in half, and we're going to cut this into cubes. This is the bit where I generally eat a few little cubes on the way. Okay, so small cubes. I like to pop little blobs of marzipan into the cake so that it gets spread out and it bakes with the cake. So half of the marzipan, there we go. Mmm, yum, I love it. You want to eat this, so just mix it together with the flour. And what this does, basically it kind of helps prevent all the marzipan sinking to the bottom. Now you're going to get your cake mixture. As you can see there, it's lovely and smooth. Now I'm going to add my milk. The milk just kind of helps loosen up all the batter because it's a very thick batter. And now we're going to pop the dried fruit. So I've got raisins, sultanas and some mixed peel as well. So all that goes in. So just fold all your lovely fruit in. Now, if you like this recipe and you want plenty more, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right. So once all the fruit is mixed in, we're going to add the marzipan. The marzipan bits going in and the rest of the flour. And we just fold this all together. Mmm. 
My cake tin is greased and lined. And my oven is preheating as well. So now you just pop all your cake mixture into the cake tin. So this cake traditionally is had at Easter time. Obviously, it makes a bit of a change from chocolate. And it's something that, you know, you can get, uh, you can get the kids to help decorate this one too. Lots of fun. So smooth down your mixture. And now this is ready to pop into the oven. So you need to cook it on a very, very low heat for at least an hour and three quarters. That's going in. Once your cake is cooked, leave it to one side to cool completely. Now mine has cooled down. Now for the fun part, we can ice it. Using the rest of the marzipan, we're gonna roll this out, put a bit of icing sugar down. Whoa, this is where I get messy. Bit of icing sugar, stop it sticking to your work surface. So we're gonna roll this and this is gonna be the topping. And we need to make it big enough so that it covers the top of the cake. So cut yourself a rough circle. You can use a plate maybe if you want. I'm just going for it. Get your cake in. We can start icing it now. Now if there are any kind of big lumps on top, you might wanna cut those off or it's not gonna be very smooth. So carefully make that a bit smoother. Now to make sure that your marzipan sticks on top, we're gonna pop some uh, apricot jam. Smooth some apricot jam across the top of the cake. Now I'm gonna lay the icing on top, or the marzipan. Now I, I don't mind the little bits hanging on the edge. You can kind of pinch them and make them look pretty. So it's just like an overhang. There we go. Now for the interesting part of the cake decorating. We're gonna make 11 balls of marzipan. So with the leftover bits, just roll up 11 balls around the same size. And the reason that there are 11 and not 12 balls is because there were 12 apostles, obviously, but one did not make the cake for obvious reasons. And that would be Judas, if you didn't know. Yes, and if you have any other uh, you know, comments or interesting facts on this, please do leave them. We want to know. Just keep going until all 11 balls are done. Not 12, no. Now I'm gonna stick the balls on. I'll just use a little bit of the jam, just to make sure they don't come off. So stick your 11 balls on around the outside. All right, last ball there. Now we're gonna brown the marzipan. So you can either pop this under the grill for you know, just a few seconds until you see it kind of bubbling up and turning a little bit brown, or blowtorch, one of my favorite instruments in the kitchen. Okay. Ooh, there you go, that's pretty quick. So just get a little bit of color going on each ball. So obviously there's a lot of sugar in marzipan, so it browns very easily. Whoa, like that. Now, my finishing touches. The bit I love, I'm gonna pop it onto a nice plate. Let's move the cake over carefully. There you go. I've got a few Easter chicks. See? Can't have an Easter cake without some chicks. So there we go. So cute. Right, if they will stay on there, that'll be marvelous. I'm just gonna pop my little eggs around the side. And there we have a very simple, but very pretty Simnel cake. I hope you really, really enjoy this recipe. Now, this looks almost too pretty to cut, but I'm gonna do it. I'm going in. All right, this looks great. Getting myself a nice big slice. Ooh, look at that, that looks good. You can see the chunks of marzipan still in there 
and the fruit. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That is really good. So I hope you enjoy making this and I hope you tune in again for another episode of Keep Calm and Bake.